Oh, hello. Now, today I'm here with Kim. Kim, tell us a bit about yourself and your horses. Whereabouts are you? Well, hello. Yes, I'm from England. So I'm from um, just on the outskirts of Bristol. Um, so I've got into horses a lot later on in life. I have three. I was only planning on having two, but this is what happens. So I've now got and three. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I've got two companions and one that I can actually ride. So um, the girl that I'm riding is quite an old girl. She's in her 20s. And I had her about a year. And um, when I got her, she was bomb proof. And um, yeah, so she had all the gadgets on her and um, a martingale, a saddle mm. that didn't fit. So I had this horse and slowly but surely she started to show me that she wasn't happy with a couple of things. And um, yes, yeah, so then I started to um, look for a certain type of training. I knew what I wanted. But I couldn't mm. quite find it. And I remember listening to quite a few podcasts when I was out walking the dog and I came across the can do one. It was very oh, quick, yeah. very quick. And within the first one, I suddenly thought, oh, I can do this. This this is something I can actually do because yeah. it yeah. broke it down into small achievable steps, which I really liked not just from the horse's viewpoint, but also for me, of where yeah. I was able to position myself. And then I started to listen to a few more podcasts of Can Do, and then went on the website and joined up for the free training. And it just got better from there. And I just thought, yeah. oh my God, I can do this. This is so, this is something that and I find. And so what? Tell me what sort of changes since you joined the gold program, what sort of changes have you seen with your little mare? Well, she was quite pushy on the ground. So um, she would just walk straight over me. And it wasn't so much that I didn't know how to deal with that. But it was more the fact was that it was always to do with her emotional level basically it was to do which I've never heard of until I came onto this course the emotional level of a horse and I was thinking well, what 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 does that actually mean I, I don't understand that and she started to, like I said she was always pushy and loads of people would say you've got to keep pushing her back you've got to keep pushing her back you've got to keep doing this and it didn't work really it just didn't work what people were saying what I was I was looking at on YouTube mm. and I just thought don't know quite what to do and all the pieces are falling apart and I didn't know if to do this first should I do that first and then I joined like I said this course and it was just like all the pieces of the puzzle were coming together and yeah. then um, what I found for me was give to the bit and whilst it sort of seemed like an easy concept to do there was so many other factors that you had to take into consideration. So I just thought, oh, yeah, I can do this. It's fine. We'll, we'll give it a go. And we did. And it wasn't something that I personally could do straight away. I had to think about my position. I had to think about the horse's emotional level, where it was at that particular time. I had to think about how we were going to work together how I could control my emotions if it didn't quite go to plan. Um, yep. Those things. So it's interesting because I, I, I remember when you when you first joined and um, and we had discussion about this and we're on opposite sides of the world. Um, and what I really appreciated and what was fabulous was was you filmed yourself teaching her give to the bit, didn't you? How did you mm. do that filming? Because I think some people think, oh, that's too hard. I can't film myself. How did you do it? Well, I got the right equipment to start off with. I mean, I first of all, I did it on, on my phone. So yeah, on your phone, a, yeah. Yeah, so you can do it on your phone quite easily. You don't need to buy all this gadget, all this stuff, really. So I did it on my phone. I took advice from one of your videos about how to video, 
video yourself and how to position yourself so you keep yourself in the frame so I did that and then I started to think well actually I'm going to be using this quite a lot I'm going to get a small little camera that you know attaches to things and that's what I did um and so yeah that's that's how I started to do it and believe me if somebody said to me when I started this course that you'll be putting a video out there of yourself for all people to see and to actually look at it yourself and they go mm, that oh, okay I've got that little bit that wasn't right and then to have you come in Kate and work with me and tell me in a really kind way that actually you need to position yourself differently Kim okay that was really good but can you see where you if you were to do this this would happen so um that was really valuable to me so what, what I loved and you say you know putting yourself out there and things but it is just within that can do community so we what we did was we looked at your videos didn't we during a um, zoom meeting um yeah. and so that meant that the other people at the zoom meeting had the benefit of being able to see the advice that I was giving you which was as you say simple things like perhaps stand a bit further back or perhaps mm -hmm. raise your emotional level a bit can you see she's sort of drifting there and and yeah. I what I love about that is that you know there's always somebody that's willing to do that and it's so helpful for everybody else because it might not be a problem that you're having right now but you might have it with another horse and I think I remember with your mare she just wasn't quite in the engagement zone, was she? Just needed no. to lift her emotional level just a little bit, just to yeah. get her thinking a little bit more. Was that was that right? Yeah, that's correct. That's completely correct. And it's those sort of little magic moments, I call them, that you suddenly realise, oh, yes, in order for her to take on board what I'm sort of trying to get through to her that suddenly yeah. raising her emotional level helps and also trying to keep mine calm as well so um but also I find as well in the training that um there's these videos where you do the voiceover Kate and I've been looking at those lately and those are just wonderful because I see myself in them as well on the other mm. other side right. of actually viewing it and thinking oh I do that when I'm long reigning it's exactly what I do or oh yeah this is a bit of me so it's so good that we can share those videos and yeah. or we even just look at them and they're just yeah just great isn't it isn't it and I think that's that's the word it's the sharing I think in the mm -hmm. in the community that that really makes the difference um because everybody contributes you know and in one way or another we we all come together for a common purpose and it's you know to do the best by our horses and to have safe sort of happy horses which is really what we all want so um fantastic fantastic well thank you very much Kim that was really nice to chat with you and I hope to see you in a zoom meeting very soon yes definitely Kate I'm always at the zoom meetings so I look forward to you seeing are. you <laughs> and all right bring me some video next time will you <laughs> okay yeah I'd love to okay Fantastic. Okay, okay. All right. I'll see you soon. Okay. Bye. Bye.